Party hats. Boom, boom. The whole go bang, bang here. Let us begin. I want you to keep an eye out for the Boogity Man. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of VHS Bandits. This week we watched Good Girls Don't. Let's pop in the tape. An underdressed entertainer. Are you having a good time? An overworked secretary. I'm sick of working in this stinking office. There perfect opposites framed for the perfect murder we're taking you both downtown for questioning but now they're on the run and definitely on the loose when was the last time you really let yourself go you're not making this easy start the car Two ladies with the law on their trail. Everybody freeze! The cash in the bag. Do you realize how guilty that makes us look? And the mob on their back. Surprised to see us again? I also have a black belt. (laughs) When danger gets this hot. You two ain't going nowhere. The bad guys fall apart, but good girls don't. Hit it! Good girls don't. And now, our feature presentation. Hey, everybody. Welcome again to this week's episode of VHS Bandits. I am the Kev Bot. Here also are my wonderful co-hosts. And here they are. And <laughs> Topher's miming my words with his mouth. And maybe he'll introduce himself, too. Yes, <laughs> I am Topher. <laughs> Hello, podcast you look like uh, one of the robots from the Hall of Presidents. <laughs> I like movies. I am a normal human, not a presidential robot. Yeah. And How also Dane Train is here. Yeah. Hats? This is uh, Dane Train. Don't. <laughs> Don't train. Don't train. <laughs> yeah. What's don't happening? Fellas? On the don't train. Don't go on the don't train. So um <clears throat> you know when I first saw you know? when I first saw the title Good Girls Don't, I really just if I had closed my eyes and just heard the words good girls don't, I really would have thought this was like one of those like, like an anal video. Uh <laughs> well, I yeah, I suppose an all you know, anal review. When you when you when you say to yourself, all right, what's the first thing that comes <laughs> to your mind when you hear the title Good Girls Don't? And anal for you it's 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 bum loving <laughs> yeah yeah for me the first thing Funky i think of loving. is like one of those like like 1950s like uh like mr bungle like psa's about like uh, about like, like how how women should have good manners or something like that yeah 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 good no. girls don't you know it's like you know good girls don't wear high skirts or you know that kind of stuff <laughs> yeah yeah girls don't do anal in the bathroom Uh, Tommy does (laughs) Timmy do's and Tommy Tommy don't good girls do's and good girls Timmy do do's and Tommy don't do the butt love don't so hey uh, I, I didn't tell you guys this in advance but this is I, what may, which I, I think might be the very last movie that I have that is professionally curated for one of our number one super fans, 
Chase, <laughs> also known as a DVD creep, who you can follow on Instagram at DVD creep. Cheap who, plug. Who uh, sent us this fantabulous VHS tape called Good Girls Don't. Um, this uh, This masterpiece was produced and directed you by got a lot of weirdo sex movies. Weirdo baby. sex DVD movies. Creep. Yeah. I feel like half of them we get a weirdo sex it, movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is less of a weirdo sex movie than I anticipated though. I was I no was anal. I had high hopes for this to be a weirdo sex movie, and unfortunately, it disappointed me in the weirdo sex I department. I didn't know what kind of movie it was until about 20 minutes in. Yeah. Uh, I expected some kind of a crime action movie because the cover has like, you know, the the Chicago skyline and there's two babes holding guns. So I would have thought that this was a movie about like, you know, you know, those like, uh, you know, undercover kind of like Vice Academy, right? Undercover cops in the hooker. Shy you know. town, the windy city, my city. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> but hey. A uh, windy butthole, my butthole. So, so speak. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Vice That's Academy, guess what? Bad girls do. This this movie was pr- written, produced, and directed by none other than Rick Sloan, who also made such masterpieces as Vice Academy and Hobgoblins. Wow, this is way Ooh. better than uh than Vice Academy for sure. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> I, I'm, you gonna, guys, I'm I am gonna have shocked. to disagree you guys with didn't you. Like this movie? I thought I like that. This movie. Uh, hey, 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 hey! I have not stated any feelings towards this movie one way or the other. That's but very we can true. Assume yes. That you hated it. You're wearing well, the same shirt as last time. I this know. is madness. This is this is laundry shirt day. Whoa! Laundry day shirt. This is Bill Murray day. Yeah, you guys can't tell at home, but trust us, it's the same shirt. <laughs> I only own three shirts. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, I like this movie. Uh, so we'll we'll get we'll get into that in a, in a even little bit. Even though it doesn't have any anal. No, good, no. Good girls don't do mildew. <laughs> uh, this is from Leo Films. Now, this has a star-studded cast. With none other than Christopher Knight of the Brady Bunch. And also, oh, I was thinking it was he was. I was wondering where he was from. I was because I saw his name in the credits. I was like, "Is that the dude from New Kids on the Block? Isn't there a Christopher Knight that's uh, on New Kids on the Block?" I don't. There's know. someone with the last name Knight. Yeah. Oh, All right. Okay. Well, it's definitely well, it's the Brady Bunch guy, huh? Brady Bunch guy, huh? Well, yeah. How do you how do you like Brady that? Bunch uh, kids? And uh, <laughs> also Renee Estevez, whose whose siblings include Emilio Estevez <laughs> and Charlie Sheen. Oh, I didn't know there was a wow. female Estevez. I didn't know that either. It's the blonde, the blonde chick. That's uh, Emilio oh. Estevez's sister. So, um, by the way, guys, by the way, this is the unedited director's cut, according to the back of the box. Ooh. Unedited. It's just the, all the raw footage. It's all the raw. Yeah, yeah. Nobody <laughs> edited this movie. Not an edited movie at all. No, it's got- not at all. So they shot the movie entirely in sequence, you know? Yes. So, it, it, so on, on the, one roll of film. It, to me, I was attracted by this movie by uh, the back because the there's, there's like some people sure. with guns yeah. and stuff. And I was like, oh, there's going to be like some shooting in this movie. They got the I girls on the cover, got some it. guns. I'm like, yeah, it's going to be probably an action movie, right? No, 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 it's a porno. No, it's not a porno. This movie's far from a porno. I know, but that's what I thought it was going to be. Oh, you <laughs> thought it was going to be more like female in two. Yes. Well, we'll talk more about that later. <gasps> uh, so the back of the box states. Uh, <clears throat> By the way, I'm having a... <laughs> hey, Dane just took that long, dramatic pause to blow his burp into the atmosphere. <laughs> by, by, by the way, T-Man, are you yeah. thirsty by any chance? Are you parched? Oh, I am parched. I, hey, oh, hey. Man, I could really go for a thirst quencher here. How about... Can I interest you in a Pepsi Cola cream soda? You know, it's the choice wow. of the new generation. Hey, hey, how about that? Yeah, yeah. 
It is Pepsi Cola hey, Soda it. Shop Cream Soda Cola. Cream Soda Cola. That's great. That's great. But you know, I'm also, I'm also soda a little cola. bit hungry. A little bit hungry here too. Oh, how about a crest? What? <laughs> how, about, <laughs> oh, how about can I interest you in a <laughs> Nestle's Crunch Bar? <laughs> there you go. Groovy, groovy. Groovy, groovy. <laughs> uh, if anybody has had the new Pepsi Cola Cream Soda, pretty darn good. It's good stuff. Is it is it Pepsi branded cream soda or is it Pepsi Cola with a with a flavor of cream yeah, soda? Yeah, that's what it is, right? There. It says a okay. tasty cream soda flavored cola made with real mm. sugar for a sweet nostalgic treat. Wow. Yeah, I am nostalgic good. for that's a good treat. Stuff. Twelve fluid ounces, hundred and fifty calories. Oh, all twelve. Day. 12, 12 fluid 12 ounces. Cans. Yeah, all, all 12. You betcha. 12 you. Part fluid of a ounces. complete breakfast. <laughs> so anyway, I'll read the back of this box here. So it says, when sweet and innocent G- Genie, Renee Estevez of Single White Female G- and Genie. Heathers, hooks up with a new dancer, Bettina, Julia Parton of Vice Academy Part 3, mm. course. Where else have I seen I knew I recognized her from somewhere. She's got great titties. Oh, we're, we're going to talk about that shortly. <laughs> the party hat section of the, of the review. Who was on the run for a murder she didn't Spoilers. commit? The f- girls find they have an awful lot in common, like wanting to get away with a satchel full of cash. But it's not going to be easy, as Detective Montana, Christopher Knight of the Brady Bunch, is one step behind the mob boss, Wilhelmina LaRue, Mary Warren of, of Scenes from a Class Struggle in Beverly Hills and Black Widow. And also, and she Terror was in Vision. Terror Vision. And, yeah. um, what's the one that, uh, Chopping Mall, she's in that briefly, is one step ahead. Put the pedal pusher to the metal and look out because <laughs> good girls don't. <clears throat> good girls don't look out? Good girls don't. Good girls don't uh, do what? They they don't put the pedal pusher to the metal and look out. Don't do and what? Also look out. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So there you go. Mm. So were there any trailers on this? There were zero no. zippity doo trailers. Although it would have been great no if there were some Vice Academy trailers on that. That would have been nice. Yeah, that's surprising. They got like nine of them to choose from. Oh sure, there's quite a few. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention. <laughs> there is no um flap on the bottom of the back of the tape so it has exposed oh. <laughs> exposed Classy. tape hanging out of the tape it's a yeah it's you a nerdy tape it's yeah. a topless tape topless yeah. tape yeah like that one scene nice. in the movie yeah 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 so let's right up front so let's get let's get into it here so we want to do a quick quick brief 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 Brief, brief, brief. Talk about what the movie's actually about. It's about titties for about uh, five minutes, and then it changes into like a Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah. Type. No, we're not a Bonnie. What are those? Crime drama. Uh, the chick, the all chick Bonnie uh, and Clyde. Thelma what and are Louise. Those ones? Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, it's exactly what it is. Yep, they're driving a convertible a and everything. S- a secretary who's yeah. uh, got uh, a harassment it, so suit like, against her boss. And a hired uh, stripper uh, are on the run for being accused yeah. for the murder of the boss um, of a real estate company, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Then there are these goons who are after him and the Brady Bunch dude is a dick and um, they kidnap a, a police officer who's um, who uh, uh, uh Ms. Estevez's uh, character falls in love with, and they get they they're uh, <laughs> acquitted essentially of the crimes at the end. And some cardboard and boxes rock and, and roll net music. Fall onto people. Yes, can't forget about that. Yeah, and, and the that's stripper it. is really smart and into real estate. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and, and, um, and, and, and investments. Yeah. Oh, and the stock market. That's and what it was. Stock market. The blues. Mm-hmm. I gotta say, I liked at the very beginning of the movie 
there was a scene at the strip club that had like the theme song of good girls don't i was pretty good yeah that was good i love like all the reaction shots of the crowd of all the guys oh, the dudes yeah, and there's like, like this one <laughs> old guy who's like fanning a hat who's like 90 and years then old he like passes out and yeah. the rest of the guys are like trying to revitalize him it's like there's like this one punk dude with like a like a mohawk and i like uh, that it's like the most sex starved town because they're just like mentioned getting uh getting nude at a strip club and everyone's like hooting and hollering and yeah. like going nuts <laughs> of all these That's chicks who aren't do. even taking off their clothes she shows her titties well, well afterwards at, well, well, the original like group i don't think they did but then they brought out busty patina and she showed off her party hats Right, because they know. Oh yeah, Busty Patina's coming up, and that's when the old guy passes out. Yep, he can't handle it. He has a heart attack. She killed yeah. him with his titties. Yeah, with her titties, not his own titties. <laughs> so, do- <laughs> she killed him with her <laughs> with his own titties. Whoa! Hey, lay off the Pepsi, man. <laughs> hey, full lay off the Pepsi. Jeez. So, do either of you guys understand the crime that was supposed to be? committed the initial deal that was going to go down because we find out yes. the boss of the i guess real estate company who hired the stripper because one he was a super sleaze bag first off <laughs> yeah he's um, probably my favorite character in the whole movie though really yeah no hey no? i got it. my favorite character is the cop who the like detective who like questions them and like oh uh, Oh that yeah, guy yeah, was yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Wait, what time exactly? Uh, or sometime around uh, exactly nine o'clock last night. That guy. Yeah, 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 that yeah. Guy he was awesome. great. He was great too. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there was, was something the about the head boss. I mean, yeah, the guy was a total, total geek squad. But uh, he was. Uh, he wasn't a geek squad. He was I'm a sorry. super sleaze bag. Wrong, wrong word. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's a. Uh, he was a. He was a. Uh, he was a greasy slime ball. Mm-hmm. A sly cyborg. He was. You know? So he was he had a big has- bag of money. <laughs> yeah. For this business partner guy who was like, they were gonna buy some real estate or something. I don't I don't fully understand it. <laughs> yeah, I, I so they, they were, were like the uh the evil boss lady who like the main villain, I guess. Mm-hmm. Was this the I don't know, just this evil lady for whatever reason. I think she was in. So this guy, I guess, is a real estate broker or something. I think they were going in on a real estate deal together. So he was putting in half the money and she was putting in half the money. Mm -hmm. Something like that, which is half a million bucks. And she wanted to just murder him and steal the money so that she, which doesn't really make any sense now that I say it out loud because. He was going to put that, basically give that money to her anyway. But I guess she has complete control over the property, which. So because, well, she wasn't planning on stealing the money. She was just trying to gain control of the property, I think. Yeah. Because the two ladies stole the money so that she couldn't do that. So that she couldn't yeah, buy see the that, property. I guess that's, that's just where then, this, this, this uh, crime kind of fell apart to me. <laughs> hmm. I mean, it's a little. It's it's not a very exciting crime. No, any means. there wasn't. It's there wasn't like a, a, a huge collar. motive of just like she wasn't like a established crime boss or anything. Yeah, it's like except one that of those, she had uh, goons. Yeah, she had these two muscle head goons. I like them. Yeah, They're they were good. great. Uh, I, I thought it was kind of weird though, because like the guy who went into the business meeting for the transaction looks like this like high powered. You know, uh, you know, guy in a suit, right? And then later on, like the, after the shootout, he just like calls up the girl, the the mob. I was like, "Hey, boss, uh, they got away." And I was like, "Oh, I thought he was like a high powered mob boss guy too." But I guess he's as much of a goon as the other two guys. It's a bait and switch, I guess so. Um, it was a misdirection. Mm. Um, but yeah, like uh, oh, um. So it turns into more of like a cat and mouse kind of a thing, right? Where um, Christopher Knight, who plays the detective Montana, who's a complete dickwad himself, um, mm-hmm. when like the, her boyfriend, yeah, 
Because yeah. they're in the tub and in the hot tub and she's like, oh, I've got problems at work. He's like, listen, I'm talking about me right now. You better listen. <laughs> yeah. Every guy in this movie is, uh, well, except for the, the other cop. Oh, There's God. one good guy. But yeah, everyone is like a very generic, like sexist Shit. pig or whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, <coughs> they they do a, uh, a rip off of Beverly Hills Cop. By putting something in uh, the tailpipe of the cop car. And not what? that kind of tailpipe, because good girls don't do anal. Yeah, they don't They don't put potatoes in the tailpipes. <laughs> which, which is funny, because so this, so Ooh. Christopher Knight drives <laughs> I think this, that's uh, what it's called in some states. Yeah. Potato in the tailpipe. <laughs> tailpipe. Uh, so so uh, the detective drives this white, Early Ooh, 90s. I want to see this movie. Pontiac Sorry to Sumber. interrupt. Sodomy lobotomy. Huh? How about that? Wow. <laughs> wow. Is that is that a movie you're making? Yes, that's right. It joined my Indiegogo now. Ooh. Sodomy lobotomy. You Ooh. can buy a perk where you can be in the the movie and get lobotomized through your butthole. Wow. Into your brain. Yeah. That's a pretty far, that's a long distance. Well, you know, it's like uh, it's it's cutting edge. Everyone goes in through the eye socket wow. or the nose or whatever. I'm going in through the butt. I checked the route from butt to brain. You, if if you buy now, I'll throw <laughs> in uh, some chili in a sock. Okay, for for free. Or the uh, what was that? Your, the shit bit. I'll give you. A, I'll give you a shit. Oh, bit the too. shit bit. Well, wasn't oh, there an yeah. episode that you guys were talking about? That had chili in a sock. Was that like eight days yeah, a week or something? In, yeah, chili in a sock. chili in a sock. And a was shit bit. It? Can't shit? go wrong. Oh, yeah. You're gonna need that. Yeah. You're gonna oh. need that shit bit after your chili in a sock. Oh yeah. Oh, it was. It was but then crispy. Get your oh, I think I froze also. for a second. Oh, yeah. Crispy, crunchy jambalaya in a sock. <laughs> oh, oh, that's what it was. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I need a I need an addendum to my uh, perks. <laughs> Stop good. Thing, someone's gonna good get thing I wrote down these, in a sock these genius I ideas of ours. Yeah. Hey, they, they. I think we got a. If podcasting doesn't work out, we got a good uh, set of side businesses to keep us afloat. Oh, of course, sure do. Button um, crunch cereal and cold oh, buttholes. Button yeah, yeah, yeah. Cold yeah. buttholes. Yeah. Oh, can't cold forget invisible buttholes. butts. They're, they're frozen treat. Cold buttholes, just like a butthole on a stick. I don't just remember a frozen cold treat. buttholes at all. <laughs> I don't know. Just, just says cold just buttholes. Parentheses suck on a hot go, summer day. <laughs> if you, you remember go. what we mean by cold buttholes, please email us at thevhsbandits.com. Does it taste like good salad? girls don't like cold buttholes? <laughs> <laughs> they they prefer their buttholes warm. <laughs> lukewarm and once again we have derailed into, <laughs> so, into butthole talk back to the hey miss shamey would say hey so they these girls who are running from the from the police go to a diner and they both have a burger and fries that literally are just presented in front of them and i don't think two minutes go by and they're like all right we gotta go they don't eat anything on their plates and they're like oh we got to take this to go. Hey, just take a napkin and put this baked potato on there. <laughs> when they left the burger, the, the potato fries, still had else. the foil around it. They got the baked potato. They got half a million bucks. What do they care? It's only the plot device to stick it in a tailpipe of Montana of the detective Montana's early nineties Pontiac Sunbird, right? When the they funny had, thing about they it had is to meet they the, put um, it in the, the other dancer it, though. They had to meet the other dancer, so um Oh yeah, the right. Other dancer could get the 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 bad um passport that passport yeah. had the wrong name. So what happened is they put it in a tailpipe, which stops the car from working, but then when I look at it, it's got dual exhaust, so all the exhaust just could have came out of the other pipe. <laughs> yeah, but I think I think the other exhaust was just a you know, just an aesthetic exhaust tip. Maybe that's what it is. Okay. Sure, sure, yeah. sure, sure. You know, it's like a, all those fucking fender flares and airports and shit that don't do anything. Sure. They're just yeah. plastic. Oh. 
I think that I'm you not know, terribly sure about the, uh, that. It was the base model. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But <laughs> hey, that I'm just saying. I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. Um. Uh. Hey, but did we say why they're even running? So they killed someone. Killed the boss, <laughs> which is the. It ended up being the. Uh, like one of her coworkers, like the nerdy coworker, killed the boss and is no, working for. No, 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 not at all. No, no, it was the. He admits to it. No, 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 no. It was the it. guy with the slick hair who went in earlier to to do the deal. Because he later right. went back to his, went back oh, to the I boss. Just, okay, and I said, think and said I like, yeah, I, I, I did yeah. it. I got rid of him or something like that. You know. Okay, I was, I just, I looked at the wrong. I confused him for the other guy. Then I got gotcha. you. Oh, ah, hey, okay. Well, that, that makes nerdy more sense. dude, that nerdy dude yeah. in the office who who likes uh, Miss Estevez, you know he who he reminded me a lot of. I don't know. He reminded who. me a lot of the guy from the bikini car wash company, <laughs> the main uh, guy. Oh, yeah, you're right. You swear he to God, it was the same like guy. Not ner- he's clearly not a nerdy guy. They yeah, just put right. Glasses on like this very fit <clears throat> fella. Yeah, and, like slicked his hair back and gave him a bow tie or whatever. Yep. Um. And yeah, so they get framed for it. And one of my favorite scenes was there. So they, for whatever reason, like the cops come and they take, they take the guns and like hold the cops hostage. And they're like, ah, we got to get out of here because, uh, uh, we don't want to be framed. So we're going to commit more crimes to avoid being (laughs) prosecuted for this crime. Yeah. And, uh, they end up in the hotel and whatever. And then that night on TV, is America's most notorious sex crimes. And it's like this hot chick. And she's like, in this week's most notorious sex crimes, there's this like this uh this innocent man who was murdered by this this tramp and this sex deprived <laughs> sicko. And then it goes into this recreation of uh, a reenactment of this just this like dude and these two like sluts and he's the dude's like tied up to a chair and he's like, oh, please, no, I'm a church going citizen. You can't do this to me. No, no. And they like straddle him and like strip him to death, I guess. I don't know what that. That was also <laughs> one like, of like the best parts of the movie was that dramatization. That was funny. Yeah, as hell. they like to show how hardworking he was. Death. He had like four phones in his hands, yeah. like trying to talk on all of them. <laughs> yeah, oh, man, that was awesome. And then the two goons later, the two muscle goons. Uh, much like in Spaceballs, they get the their stunt doubles, <laughs> and they are they, they, not they, them. <laughs> they get yeah, the uh, right. the actresses from the TV show <laughs> instead of the real girls, which is pretty funny. Who then join the crew, get paid a whole twenty bucks each. Oh yeah, Speaking I'm gonna raise your I'm gonna raise your payment by uh twenty bucks. <laughs> That's a lot back then. Especially Boy, compared to what those girls were probably making before. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh sure, oh, sure. Yeah. Um, but they were happy about it too. That was pretty funny because they were like, "We're not the them. We're just actresses from TV." And they're one of them's like, "Hey, I'm gonna tell my agent. I should get an award for this. I must be a really good actress." <laughs> but hey. Yeah. They get they get caught and they oh no I'm sorry they uh the no two, they get to a road stop yeah with the good guy with the cop. good guy cop and, and then they uh, kidnap him and then yeah. Ms. Estevez falls in love with him. There's like these heart to hearts where like this, he's well he just is generally not a stupid shithead to her yeah it, he's and, just like but courteous. he's also not a very good cop. No, That's definitely true. not. <laughs> and then, like, uh, the stripper is talking to him, and he and she's all like, "I have daddy issues," and for no reason. So, yeah, and she wants to be a singer, and Ma'am, he's like, "You don't want to be a stripper, issues. do you?" And then they, uh, when did they go to jail? So they they, uh, they turn themselves. There's in. like a shootout. Yeah, right. They turn. So he convinces them to turn themselves in, and they go to jail where they all wear like blue denim. And this is probably T-Man's favorite part because I know one of his biggest pet peeves in the world is when they is when they fake play music where there's like a, somebody on a guitar or whatever <laughs> and they're obviously not doing it. So there's like they're doing like a blues, you know, they're in the jailbird blues 
and some girl is playing guitar and some other girls got a harmonica and they're obviously not doing it at all. <laughs> I've seen I've seen worse though. I mean this one was done pretty good because the riffs were very simple. <laughs> what about the end? <laughs> oh yeah. What oh yeah, yeah, when they sing the song the in the end. strip club. Oh, oh. Yeah, I didn't really pay too close attention to <laughs> their their instrumentation. It was but. like it was like guitar solo, but the 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 woman playing guitar was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she was just I missed that barely air strumming. Go go back and watch it. Do yourself a, okay. Do yourself a favor. Self off. In fact, yeah. let's let's all take a moment. Let's pause here. Pause the movie, everybody, or pause the episode, everybody. Let's go watch that scene. Hmm. Ooh. Ah. Then we're back. Wow, what a scene. We all definitely just rewatched it, right? No. Definitely. <laughs> and boy, oh boy, I tell you, you fellas were right. Right on the money. That scene really happened like you said it did. <laughs> Wouldn't lead you astray. Mm. Um and the then they <clears throat> How do they get out of jail? I guess there's... There's a loophole with something in the newspaper of... um, Who knows? Some bullshit. Yeah, she know. reads the something newspaper, like and then she's like, hey, call my defense attorney, and then they are, for whatever reason, out of jail. Yeah. And it has to do with, like, her um, investing in stocks with the half a million dollars and, like, quadruple she... the money or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So they, as soon as they get out, they get re-kidnapped by the mobsters, those two goons, right? And they end up going to this empty warehouse with cardboard boxes. And one of my favorite things that they do in movies is when they can't explain something, like the good cop shows up and he's like, freeze! And they're like, hey, good cop, how'd you find us? And he goes, never mind that. That's how you explain it. Yep. They always do that in movies. You know, yeah, don't worry about it. How do you explain do this do plot that? situation? Are you sure? Never mind that. Are you sure? Can you give me a few examples of how they do that? I'll give you a. Uh, I'll give you an example. Um, Never mind that. Not I, the only thing that comes to my head at the moment is not a movie, but in a very shitty video game, which was um, the Aliens Colonial Marines game. If you guys ever played that, no, yes, don't because it's, it's on PlayStation. It's junk. It's not on PlayStation. No, it is on PlayStation. Yeah, it wasn't on Sega Saturn. It wasn't on Sega. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was not on Sega Saturn. Yes, not, nothing like Alien Trilogy. Um, but it's a, it's supposed to be a canon story that takes place after um, like Alien 3. And they're like, wait a minute. How did how does the situation happen now actually happen, right? They're like, they're like, wait a minute. How did that ship from the second Alien movie like get here? And they're like, we don't really know, but it did. <laughs> and they don't explain it like at you know what I mean that kind of a thing. So stupid, yeah, stupid, stupid. It does. Stupid. It happens. It happens, and it's frustrating and terrible writing. That's right. That's right. That totally ruined the movie for Dane. Most of it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so so T man, when you're making your movies, make sure you just have somebody say, "Never mind about that." When you can't figure out I a situation, mean, you know. I mean, there is there is a movie that I that I recently made, and uh, as far as it is right now, that happens, and it is incredibly frustrating. Is that right? But, yeah. <laughs> just hey, put in a clip of Dean Train I, going. Uh, never I mind. No, just say I never mind. No that. Over it. I have no control over it. Unfortunately. <laughs> uh boy. Um. But yeah. And then. Uh, then uh, the the uh, they just kind of have a little bit of the a fight. stripper lady is also a black belt, just happens to be stripper. Oh um, yeah, and she helps beat up the goons and uh, the main boss lady, and that was it. And then they start a band and that plays at the strip band. club. Two prisoners. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's right because they're on good behavior it's yeah, tuesday night strip club yeah oh boy um, and that's the movie that's it much that's the movie um all right what was what was your guys's favorite parts 
either seeing uh, that chick's knockers at the beginning of the movie <laughs> or the dramatization is probably my favorite part. That part was great. During yeah, the America's the Most Wanted Sex Crimes TV show they're watching. Yeah, that part and any part where that uh that goofus uh the detective like detective was goofus. Uh, I don't know his name or anything. Hey, goofus. But I wish I I wish I like remembered more of his quotes because everything he said was great. He he's definitely the highlight of this movie. I wish he was in it more. Yeah. yeah. Um it might have gotten overplayed <laughs> if he was in it more though. So maybe it's not a bad thing. But like everything he <laughs> does is like he always he's like every sentence he starts off he's like so i just want to ask you a few questions um why don't you tell me where you were this night like he just flips on a dime yeah. at every every turn it's mm-hmm. just uh it's a lot funnier than what i just did but it's <laughs> but it's it's really good and he's just such a goofball uh I don't, he's very much like a villain from a kid's movie just placed into this movie. It's wicked hammed up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's great. Like he's a, he's a, a, he's like one half of a, uh, or actually he's like, you know, all, a lot of the movies we do have like double goons. Like this oh, yeah. movie had the double, the double goons of the two like strong guys, right? Yeah. The muscle. Mm-hmm. Sure guys and uh but he's like two goons put together because he's like the good cop and the bad cop kind of squeezed into one because he starts off with the good cop and then ends off every sentence with the bad cop and he yeah. does it great what about you kev but uh the dramatization was was pretty fun um i like the shootout too oh yeah um, that's pretty good Just because you got like the real cartoony, like there was an explosion at the end and then the goons, um, you know, they were all covered in soot and whatever. Um, Hmm. I would say those are like the two standout. The goons were pretty good. I mean, going to get the two um, dramatization actresses instead of the plate instead of the uh, the two actual women. It was pretty good. It was a pretty yeah. good gag. Hmm. There you go. So, yep. what are we gonna what are we gonna rate this movie out of? Out of ten uh, uh, most wanted, uh, most most notorious sex crimes, or uh, ten tailpipe t- potatoes? Tailpipe Tail potatoes. Tailpipe potatoes. <laughs> All right. I like tailpipe potatoes. All right. Sounds good. Hey, I wonder if you could cook a potato in the tailpipe. I w- I uh, I I, I, I don't think potato. so. <laughs> Hey, just wrap it up in some tinfoil before you stick it in there. It's <laughs> nice and covered in soot. Lube it up with butter. You it's got, in you the got tin to butter foil. real good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it can't get in that tinfoil. No way. No, it's tinfoil. It's got to be nice. Hey, ease, tin ease it in there nice and slow. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> butter it up. Good girls don't. <laughs> Put potatoes in tailpipes, but this one did. Well, she was the she was the bad girl, I guess. <laughs> okay, out of ten, hey, what did the uh, sorry? What did the uh, what did the good girl end up doing at the end? Did she become a stripper or like? No, she drove off on the sunset with the cop. That's right. Oh, and that's it. After okay. giving a nut shot to uh, the the Brady bunch detective. <laughs> Cause he was like, "I'll take you back, I guess," and she was like, "Yeah, <laughs> <Go up. clears throat> All right, uh, tailpipe potatoes. All right, huh? Dan Train, right. why don't you go oh, first? Oh boy, foil. oh boy, how many, how many tin foiled tailpipe potatoes? Why should I give this movie? Uh, uh I think I'm gonna give it a five out of ten tailpipe Whoa, potatoes wrapped in tin foil. Hey, that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, so it's more than a potato that you, that you cooked give it in a tailpipe based on your wrapped in tin foil. Hey, I wish hey, you need to anyone who hasn't seen this movie, stick a potato wrapped in tin foil up your tailpipe, leave your engine on. Don't be in the garage and don't be in the car, <laughs> but leave your engine on outside for roll your windows down for I don't know, half an hour, and then get a stick of butter, 
lube it around the rim of the tailpipe, <laughs> pop out that potato, open up that tin foil, sit down, put in good girls don't, and start munching, baby, because you're in for a potato we treat. <laughs> wow. Wow. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Wow. All he's right. right. Well, I think we all know where T Man stands on his potato tail <laughs> piping in this movie. Uh, why don't Why don't you like this movie? You like Vice Academy better? Don't, yeah. Than I most? mean, don't get me wrong. Mo- like anything that this guy would make, even even hobgoblins. Um, <laughs> I, I I like like it, it reminds me so much of I, like I'm sorry. movies. Can from- you say that again? Hobgoblins. Hobgoblins. <laughs> hobgoblins. <laughs> It reminds me uh, a lot of uh, also uh, this guy. What the hell is this guy's name? Uh, Rick the Sloan, plot right? makes more sense than Hobgoblin. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess. So it reminds <laughs> me a lot of like other like um, this guy. So this guy, Rick Sloan, I feel like his movies remind me a lot of like Fred Olin Ray movies, like um, uh, uh, Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers, kind of the same quality that real like straight to video early 90s feel, right? Um, I just, I mean, I just, I honestly, I found the movie to be pretty damn boring most of the time. Mm. I did not find this movie terribly engaging. Who so, put a potato in your tailpipe? I just, I don't know. I mean, I just, I think I just, maybe I just had different expectations from like looking at the cover. I thought those, you, you know, had this, sex expectations. You know, sex expectations. Yeah, 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 yeah. My sex expectations were not met. I didn't get but, enough <clears throat> potatoes in my tailpipes today, so. <laughs> Yeah, just baby I just, carrots. I just found it just to me a lot of it just dragged. It was just kind of boring. I didn't like most of the movie, so mm. I had a strong opening. It, like when I was watching that first scene, the stripper club scene, <laughs> like I was like, "Ooh, I'm gonna like this movie," and then it was just kind of downhill from there. So, no, I take that back. It was downhill when like the fugitive stuff started happening. So after the boss died. And the two girls started to run away from the cops. Mm. To me, that's where the movie started to decline. So really, yeah. Yeah. the Opposite. second act. Uh, I think the first part was not as good as this. As you know, the first act, I didn't know what the fuck kind of movie it was because it wasn't funny. There was like no jokes um, until the murder happened, and then it's like okay, because you see titties right away, and you're like, okay, this is gonna be some like weird set you know some like yeah sleazy ass um, movie right yeah you think it's gonna be a semi-porno like softcore type of thing with maybe some sort of plot kind of thrown in sure there. uh but <clears throat> and then you know you, you you see titties but then you don't for quite some time well that's it never the again one t- see that's the thing yeah, I, never I, again. I think after so seeing- i was like what is this what's happening I, th- I thought it was two times first time was in the club the second time was when uh Bustina or whatever her name was is in the office giving a show to the to the um I don't remember oh, seeing any I thought she kept her top. No, on, I don't though. I don't think that there were any I party hats remember. on that scene. All oh, right, yeah, I'm going know. I'm going to the tape. <clears throat> Let me open um, it up. But, but yeah, I just, Let me go I, just to the uh, tape. I was expecting more party hats. I was expecting more sleaze, more cheese, and uh, you know. And a, a sprinkling of the Parmesan, and I did not get that. So <laughs> what? What does the Parmesan represent? You know, a, a sprinkling <laughs> of some more cheese. You know. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, that's like some high class cheese. I, oh, oh, I'm sorry. You gotta I, have, I, I, like, I need some. Of this. I need a nice slice of American. Nice yellow there's, there's American. Some, there's there's some very brief party hats. Uh, in the uh, the office scene. Okay. Oh. All right. Yep. I got you. Can confirm. All right, Kevin Bob. What do you? How many? Uh, how many potatoes are you sticking up your tailpipe there? <laughs> this is gonna sound kind of strange, but I'm gonna give it <laughs> five and a half wow. tailpipe baked half potatoes. Of a potato? Is it foiled yeah, or unfoiled? You know. <laughs> hey, it's in. A well, doggy bag. I couldn't finish the whole thing. <laughs> So you got to take it to go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was better than I expected. Wow. Wow. Um, have the tables turned. Yes. 
What are the uh, odds? Well, I'm very surprised that you We're gave it a five world. after right your. Now. I know. I your, know. Uh, I, this must be like a Freaky Friday situation. Well, five <laughs> seems well, and this is okay. Maybe because based off of my grading, if I enjoyed it as much as Dane enjoyed it, I think I would have given it a lower um, grade. Not asking Dane to edit his his. Uh, Are you saying that if I gave it a ten out of ten? So based off of my rating, you would have rated it differently. No, what if, if I'm I saying, had you rate it first? Uh, no, my rating is not based off your rating. Initially, going into this, you said you didn't enjoy it very much. So, f- uh, for you, the, saying you didn't enjoy it very much, a five seems very generous. Oh, okay, all right. Yes, mm. all right. Um, I I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, uh five and a half out of ten amount. <laughs> um <laughs> not as good as the last movie we watched but it was still fun but it did have the bits where it dragged and there weren't there wasn't a very clear story to some parts of it but i didn't dislike it okay <clears throat> yes all right all right all right t-man mm. t-man tailpipe me a million a million potatoes in my tailpipe <laughs> uh wow. now i'm gonna give uh, uh half a million five no you take thousand. those tailpipe potatoes that's a whole lot you of potatoes take those, you take that hey, half I'm mil put them all tailpipe. on the market <laughs> yeah you put it in the spud market yeah <laughs> <laughs> maybe you get some uh, I, french fries back some tater tots <laughs> this movie needed more tater fries. tits <laughs> I don't think it needed any potato boobs Dane what's the matter you don't like potato hey, that's, boobs yeah, leave, leave that to Deathstalker <laughs> 3 warriors from hell <laughs> oh, <ooh. laughs> uh, I'm gonna give it seven and a half Potatoes in the tailpipe, the old tailpipe taters. Wow, tailpipe uh, taters. Now that's yeah, a movie right was... there. Tailpipe taters. So, team, if that's you a... if you ever get into the porno business, you have to make a movie called that. The tailpipe taters. <laughs> tailpipe taters. Or do the they're porn like, version? Like do the, the actual porn... raisins? Yeah, exactly. do the actual porn <laughs> version of this, and it's porno. good girls don't do yeah. anal. What? What? Say that again. Oh, sorry. Or you got to do the porn version of this movie, which is good girls don't do anal. <laughs> yeah, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> oh, no. Good girls do do anal. Oh, do do anal. I don't do, like do, I do don't that. do. That's we a very specific, do, do anal. specific genre. <laughs> yeah. We got, I don't think we you want to go there. We got that title a little bit before we're, <laughs> it's ready for Good girls release. don't do those kinds of movies. Uh, don't do, 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 do anal. <laughs> that they do anal. There we go. Fixed it. <laughs> Uh yeah, I think uh it was fun. It was better than I thought it was going to be. Um it cuz uh I don't know. I just uh I thought it was funny. I really liked the uh that detective guy. Uh and I thought the whole like, you know, chicks on the run from the law type of thing. I thought that was a good plot. I liked it. Uh yeah, I don't know. It was better than I thought. Uh grab a potato, grab some butter, watch this movie. <laughs> Stick it in a tailpipe for 45 minutes. Stick it in a tailpipe. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> All right. All right. Fred wow, Durst Dane. Is, is back from underneath the bed. <laughs> Dane hated this movie. I'm surprised I didn't hate didn't like it. it. I gave it a five out of 10. Movies That's that I hate get a zero grade. out of 10. You got a half, half of me. So, in, okay. in the beginning of this episode, <laughs> you know, it definitely sounded like Dane was going to hate you take, on this movie. You take the potato, you yeah. slice it down in the middle, and you butterfly it out. You put a little butter in there, you know. Um, yeah, I just, I mean, it, it's, I mean, I wouldn't watch it again. I'm not going to rewind the tape again, but I mean, I watch it once. Okay, you know. I thought that <laughs> <laughs> between the other two Rick Sloan movies that I've seen, Vice Academy and Hobgoblins. What? What makes Vice Academy better than this? Because that's where I'm surprised. I think this <laughs> I is way better Vice than Vice Academy. Academy. Was I would agree. Was a far superior entry. I've it, only seen Vice Academy two, and I would oh. say this is better. 
I have right. yet to see. I have Vice Academy one, two, and three. I have yet to see two and three. I've only seen number one, which you, which we've covered on the show a couple of years ago. Uh, with I Mike, think I gave you my copy of two. I think you did. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh so wait, no. no, no, no. Um, you sold it at a tape at a tape swap. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I bought. I ended up getting a double. I'm uh, sorry, like a box set that had all of them. I think. Vice hey, Academy you know what would go good with tailpipe potatoes. What's that? Rice Academy. Rice Academy. It's a starch. Is that a movie that has like um um Acura Integras and like Honda Civics <laughs> and stuff like that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Rice yeah. ri- ricers. Real going ricer, like, yeah. hey man. With big gotta, ass spoilers, gotta, and uh, I'm gonna get you with my nitrous boost. You know, a bit, 20, I'm sorry. You know, you know what? You know what? Rims. You know what that is? Is it, it? It's the Fast and Furious. There you go. That's it. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Tokyo Rice Drift. Academy. <laughs> Rice so Academy. then it must be Minute Rice. <laughs> Minute <laughs> Rice. <laughs> Rice Aroni. Yeah, that's when they're in San Francisco. Driving around the San yeah, Francisco. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. it's, it's a treat. Going over the hills. <laughs> I'm going to jump 15 homeless people in my Honda Civic <laughs> into a big pile of human shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I like this movie. Smash into good. these $4 million apartments. <laughs> <coughs> and then steal $900 worth of merchandise from a store and not get prosecuted yeah, for it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going Christmas shopping in San Francisco. Oh, boy. I think we've... Yeah. Anyway, hey, if you if you uh, let's talk about our, our Patreons here. All right. First, first, let's thank you guys. So thank you, Kyle Schutte. Thank you, Corey Gorski. Thank you, Thomas Andrew Gwynn. Thank you, Captain James T. Kaiser of the Good Ship Barbecue Boat, a.k.a. Retro Kaiser. And thank you, Bert Sazerac, our official Mike Fluffer, a.k.a. DVD Creep, who gave us... This movie, putting putting uh, uh, potatoes in, in in our tailpipes for for years to come, and uh, thank you, Trivia with Buds, good friend of the show. Listen to Trivia with Buds if you uh, if you're looking for another podcast, uh, great for road trips and everything. And thank you, Soda Pop and Daddies, the professional pro, aka Super Fan Jimmy Alicata. And thank you, James and Kevin James, our light wrangler. And thank you, Lex T, our official mask man. And thank you, Tiff, our official Tom's fiance. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Dane Train, why don't you tell the Patreons a the uh, little bit of the news? Should we talk about the news? News is going might on. as well. I think it makes sense. All too. right. Okay. So, uh, there are going to be some changes coming up. Uh, starting in December for the VHS Bandits podcast. So, uh, so as you guys know, we do three episodes a month. Two of them are out to you guys, the masses, the masses of asses, tailpipe potatoes, and one a month that goes towards our Patreon, uh, Party Hat Patrol, uh, uh, tier, right? Um, so we have decided that we are going to downsize. The show, we are consolidating and we are going to be going down to one episode a month, which is the, our free episode. And we are going to be discontinuing the Patreon. So that means that this upcoming month, I'm sorry, th- this month right now, November 2021, is our very last month of our Patreon uh, program. Uh, at the very end of the month, uh, it will be shut down. Uh, but there is one more coming up. Whether that's going to be Femalian Two or not, I feel like I feel like these guys do not want to watch Femalian Two. Maybe we'll have to do something else. We'll see. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's going to be our very last episode uh, for our Patreon Party Hat Patrol supporters. <coughs> After that, uh, that's going to be discontinued, and it's just going to be uh, once a month from us. Uh, just just our free regular podcast. So uh, that is what's going on. From here on out, so so some changes coming along, but uh, but we're still here. We're not shutting down anything. We're still gonna be doing the show, uh, just uh, it's just at a sh- uh, smaller capacity than we normally do. So that is what's going on. Yep. 
So thank you to our patrons really so, so much. Uh, really appreciate you guys. Uh, and it's, you know, it's just a time management thing between the three of us is why we had to pare it down because, yeah. you know, we've all got different things going on and, you know, it's unfair to you guys to keep asking for your money when we're going to only go down to one episode, uh, a show, but thank you so much for, for, uh, sticking in there and really keeping the show afloat. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's incredibly, really you guys. it's incredibly flattering. Uh, honestly, uh, which is so weird because yeah. I never, ever thought that we would get to the point where anybody, I would never in my life thought that anybody would want to pay to hear, uh, this schlub talk. So, um, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of, especially, Considering how often Dane does still have his nine hundred number one nine hundred <laughs> yeah and you potato still... tailpipe if you do want to pay to hear that schlub talk you know talk potatoes to me I got yeah it's like my yeah call one nine hundred for my it's like you know the old like Freddy Krueger hotline you know <laughs> call one nine hundred for the Dane Train stories of the day Dane's nightmares two dollars two dollars for the <laughs> so, yeah yeah hear me fart and burp two dollars for the first burp <laughs> first burp and ninety nine cents for every burp and fart after that call your ask your parents for permission to use your telephone <laughs> I mean really I'm I'm just show I'm sure you guys probably know I mean you, you guys who listen whatever but every now and then like you know. It's it's usually my fault why we get any negative um, reviews <laughs> on this show. It's, we got an email recently. It was like, I love the show. I hate your burping. <laughs> yeah, the sorry funny, to that guy. But the funny thing is, particularly you guys who are the Patreon listeners, you guys are like, no, I love hearing you burping far. Don't stop. Don't stop. So I'm like, you guys are the ones who are paying for it. You're our biggest fan. That's so the core audience I, here. I have to give the people what they want. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not like gonna be. A, I don't want to double edged potato. It's like it's like you know how how <laughs> it, it always happens in in like in like movies or like they make a sequel and they're like they're like this is not what the fans wanted. People don't you know think about that bullshit Ghostbusters movie that came out that we all saw at the at the Elm Draft House. Nobody wanted that. Nobody asked for it. You didn't give the fans what they wanted, right? That's not what we do here at the VHS Bandits Podcast. <laughs> I give the fans what they want. So that's why I drink a And I apologize every once Pepsi in a Cola. while. <laughs> Again, it's it's one of those things where I if if everybody in the world said, Yes, please stop, sure, I would have done so. I'm only doing this to appease our biggest fans. So are and you also saying- because we don't want to go through and edit all of them out. No. No. <laughs> then we'd then we'd never get an episode no, out. No, I mean no. with the with the compressor on, it should be. I think it's less uh, abrasive as long as the audio is compressed. The compre- yeah, right. Sure. Yeah, yeah. You know, there, it lowers, there is sound like a bit of tin can. Blow out your headphones. Yeah. There right. is one thing though, since uh, since we've been remote, is um, no stinky farts. No, no stinky farts. Yeah. Well, you, you know, go why? back and listen to okay. the early episodes. So for the, we would uh, have to fart simultaneously to yeah. make that happen. Well, you know, for those yeah. of you guys hasn't who hasn't happened yet, the show has evolved quite a bit as our lives have all changed. Because way back when we started the show, all three of us were still living in the same area. We used to be able to get together physically, and we would go and get junk food. Go back to one of and our houses, all sit down, and that's the thing. Damn. Yeah, sit down with your best friends, get some junk food, watch a movie. That's the whole happiness of, of this whole thing and t-man would stink up the room whoa oh, we'd all stink me? up the room Dave's the fart master i usually do here. the fart and uh, t-man would be like i don't remember anything about the movie that we just watched five minutes ago that's why still I, why the do case. I think it was t-man <laughs> yeah, it's still the case well i would take a big old shit and <laughs> yeah stink up the bathroom <laughs> and we went to kfc true. maybe it was that yeah it's uh and i always gotta take the tape to waft the way to stink but yeah, yeah, you know, maybe it, that was it. And then as time has gone on, we've moved to different places or, or, you know, things have changed in our lives and we can't get together to even like watch the show. So now we got to like digitize it. We got to watch on our own free time. We get together on Skype and that's how we're doing it today, these days. And um, so we've had so, to invest a lot into fart sprays to recreate. Oh, yeah. Sure. The, the atmosphere and uh, it's like, let you me know, tell you it's you know, not one, worth one thing it. that they do one thing that you know I'm, I'm a big car guy right one thing that they do in a lot of modern cars is when the engine sounds like ass 
they actually pump artificial noise through the speakers yeah, in the car. Yeah. Like if you buy a new four cylinder Mustang, <laughs> they actually pump an artificial ass smell. Yeah, that, through yeah. the vents. So that's what we're trying to do here on the VHS band. It's because you know it's it's an audio. You know, luckily Bose is is in our home home state of Massachusetts. We contacted the whole Bose Corporation to pump artificial ass sound into into your podcast <laughs> waves, right? So yeah, that's how very it goes. Very expensive. Very, very yeah, expensive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, very Not high worth tech. it whatsoever. Very high tech. <laughs> we yeah. did it for the fans. Uh, it's all about the fans. Yeah, yeah. When they fan the, the stink away. That's the fans. Yes. But yeah, um, again, I just, I, after all that fart business, burp business, thank you guys who have actually uh financially supported us to do this seriously, show seriously thank that you. is crazy cool i i seriously i mean i i had no idea anybody would ever want to listen to or ever want to pay to hear us ramble about these junk old movies or talk about junk food and, and we and, made some great friends through patreon oh yeah too, so thank oh you. yeah absolutely, absolutely. thank yep. you all that's pretty cool pretty good stuff so yeah like i said we're not going away um it, it's great to do this. It's just, you know, as, as time has gone on, things change. It's so hard to get together these days. Um, so we're just we're just going to kind of uh, tone it down a skosh. Uh, just doing one. Uh, and, hey, honestly, I talked to some of our Patreon uh, people who said that uh, they have trouble keeping up because we do three a month and sometimes they're backed up. They don't get to listen to them all that all, as often as they'd want to. So they, they're like several in the queue, right? So I think that maybe going down to one might even help you guys as fans uh, keep up with us um, a little bit easier. You know, maybe we, we were oversaturating, you know, so maybe uh, so I at, think uh, at the very least, those who don't like listening to uh, all the gas, you'll hear less of it. <laughs> you hear less. <laughs> yeah. You won't uh, get three times gonna, as much. So- I think we'll be able to leave up the Patreon page. We just won't charge. Yeah, people. I think so, right? Um, I have to kind of figure out all the technical shit um, and like see if we're going to swap over hosts or whatever. But that shouldn't affect any of you guys listening. Um, but we, I think we said we were going to, uh, along with the one new episode every week, we're going to uh, release one of the bonus episodes uh every month i think as well starting from like the original bonus episodes and kind of working up uh because we have a a good like two years oh yeah uh bonus bone zone bone zone episodes oh yeah so uh we might be uh sending some of those out into the uh into the ether as well all right so you good stuff so all righty anything else you guys want to go over I don't think so. All right, then. Kevbot, take us out, dude. Uh, I, don't Kev. so. I, I don't know if you're frozen or... <laughs> what are you I'm doing? Just curious. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> see, I could see, All like, right. pixelation in the back. I'm like, wait a minute. I think it's real. I think it's real. <laughs> hey, I think it's real you know? here. All right. Thank you again, everybody. Thank you again, especially to our Patreon members for uh, your support. Uh, but thank you for listening to this episode of VHS Bandits. Uh, I'm the Kevbot. This is a uh, girl. This is good girls don't Dane train. This is Tater Topher. As always, be kind and rewind. Good girls don't rewind and they get fined. Whoa. Whoa.